Hi, I'm John. Hi, I'm Maria. Welcome to Disney News Jam. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to your weekly happy place. And Merry Christmas to you all. If you're new here, please subscribe. Ring the bell to be notified each week when the show drops and hit the like button if you love Disney. As always, a special shout out to all of our group members of Disney Cruising Australia and Australians Travelling to Disney on Facebook. You can also catch us on Instagram at Jam Life Adventures and at D News Jam. On this week's show, new Zootopia show at Shanghai Disneyland Resort, a new Little Mermaid show coming to Disney's Hollywood Studios. We'll tell you what flights to Disneyland and Disney World cost this week. Maria is here for your weekly Disney Cruise Line tips and tricks. And this week, it's the online check-in process and returning favourites coming back to Disneyland in 2024. It's another jam-packed show, so let's get into it. Now that Zootopia is finally open at Shanghai Disneyland Resort, guests can fully immerse themselves in the exciting mammalian metropolis from the Walt Disney Animation Studios film Zootopia. To help bring this new land to life, Disney Live Entertainment partnered with Walt Disney Imagineering and the team at Shanghai Disney Resort to develop a unique live show experience starring many of the film's most iconic characters. Disney Zootopia comes alive in a groundbreaking new show presented at Zootopia Park Apartments along the land's main street. Here, characters including the Hops family, Fru Fru and her father, Mr. Big, Koslov the Polar Bear, Flash the Sloth, Yaks the Yak, Duke Weaselton, and more pop up on balconies or lean out the windows of their homes or workplaces, chatting with each other and the guests passing by. We've never done anything quite like this before. This is a brand new, first of its kind experience, said Jeff Canova, creative director with Disney Live Entertainment who has been on the project for more than four years. The idea is that we walk into the land, we come across the characters living their daily lives, our guests will be able to see the characters and each time they show up, it may be a little bit of a different story compared to more traditional productions with defined show times that may not be presented during certain periods. This ambitious project weaves together multiple storylines to create an immersive atmosphere in which things appear to happen spontaneously through the day. Disney Live Entertainment production manager Michelle Tritt worked closely with her Imagineering colleagues to develop the space in the land where the show show takes place. What's unique about this show is that it isn't necessarily a show. It's a living embodiment of the land, said Michelle. We brought together various disciplines from audio designers and lighting designers to creative specialists and production people to work on the project. Integrating the show into the land and creating a highly natural feel for the characters there. The team has taken great care to ensure Disney Zootopia comes alive, will resonate with guests and fans in China while embracing the spirit of Disney Animation's original film. We want to give the guests that first-hand emotional experience of being in Zootopia in the middle of this vibrant community, shared Jeff. There are so many little surprises, you'd probably spend four hours in that land just walking around and looking at all the little details. And Michelle added, we don't have anything like this anywhere around the world in any of our parks. I think the guests are going to love this show. They're going to laugh, they're going to cry because we've made these characters really come to life in the land. The Little Mermaid, a musical adventure, a fully reimagined theatrical production inspired by the Walt Disney Animation Studios classic, The Little Mermaid, will debut in the newly refreshed Animation Courtyard Theatre in fall 2024 at Hollywood Studios in Walt Disney World. Disney Live Entertainment has been dreaming up innovative ways to bring new life to the beloved story of Ariel's journey to be part of the human world. When it opens, the show will feature stunning 
new set pieces, cutting edge effects, and a bold new design that captures Ariel's imagination and emotion through her unique view of the world around her. The Little Mermaid, a musical adventure, will have guests flipping their fins to musical numbers inspired by the film, including Part of Your World, Poor Unfortunate Souls, and more. Just check out this beautiful concept art of the show's Kiss the Girl scene, an all new edition that captures the magic of this fresh production. And stay tuned to Disney News Jam as more details come available about this new long awaited show. Okay, then, people, this coming Wednesday, flights to LAX and Disneyland come in at $2,085, and flights to Orlando International Airport and Disney World come in at $2,300. $375. These flights are one way and better deals can be had if you book further out. So make sure you book early and that's flights and accommodation. It does wonders for the anxiety. Let's go over to Maria now for a Disney cruise tips and tricks. And this week it's the online check-in process. Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's Disney Cruise Tip online check-in. I will guide you through the online check-in process including going through each section individually so that you know exactly what will be needed prior to make the process run smoothly. If you haven't already, now's the time to download the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app. This app allows you to access all information regarding your cruise from daily schedules to onboard events and activities. You can also message each other and fellow passengers free of charge. Online check-in is required for everyone in your party and must be completed prior to your arrival at the port on embarkation day. Check-in opening times go by Castaway Club status. For first-time guests, it'll be 30 days before the cruise. For silver members, it'll be 33 days before the cruise. For gold members, it'll be 35 days before the cruise. For platinum members, it'll be 38 days before the cruise. And for pearl and concierge members, it'll be 40 days before the cruise. Check-in time is at Disney Cruise Line's headquarters local time, 12 a.m. So for you, it'll be converted to whatever your local time is. Keep in mind daylight savings. For example, 12 a.m. Florida time would be 4 p.m. Sydney time. Check-in and any modifications to your check-in must be completed by the day before you sail. When you hit that begin check-in button, it will take you out of the app and opens an internet browser window to begin checking in. You will see a checklist for what you need to do to complete check-in. The icons, which are silhouettes of classic Disney character faces like Goofy, Donald and Minnie are not filled in if you haven't completed the task. But as you fill in the information, you'll see the faces start to fill in with more graphic and colourful drawings. Aren't they just adorable? The sections that need to be complete are guest information, onboard account, travel plans, port arrival time and cruise contract. Guest information. You will need to provide personal details including your residential address, contact information and emergency contact. You will need to include a clear image of your passport or proof of citizenship. You will need a picture of the photo page of your passport. If you're using a driver's license, you will need to have a photo of the front and back of it. Also, you will need a photo selfie of each guest for your onboard account security photo. It should be taken from the shoulders up, looking straight at the camera. Your face should be fully and clearly visible. Be sure to remove any eyewear that prevents your eyes from being seen and any items on top of your head. There should be no other people or objects in the photo, probably best in front of an empty white wall. The photos must be an image like a JPG or a PNG. If you are taking your photos with your phone, you will need to export your photos as JPG. There is a size limit on how large the photo can be uploaded, so be sure that it meets these requirements before you upload it. Onboard account. You will need information on how you plan to pay your stateroom charges, your credit card or debit card numbers and expiration dates. At this point, it will ask you which members will have charging privileges. If members of your party are paying for their own charges, you can enter their card information. Children under 3 years old can be registered for the It's a Small World Nursery and children aged 3 to 10 for the Oceaneers Club and Lab during check-in. Pre-teens and teens can register once on board at Edge and Vibe. Travel plans. You will need information about your plans before and after the cruise. If you are flying in for the cruise, you will need flight details, including airline, flight number, departure time and arrival time. Also, you will need your plans to leave the port after the cruise. It's also important to have all of this information handy when you arrive at your port for embarkation too and put it all in your carry-on luggage and not the luggage that will be checked in. Port arrival time. It is important to note that you must complete all sections in order and cannot skip ahead to choosing your port arrival time unless the previous sections have been completed first. 
so now is your chance to choose your arrival time at the port. Most people want to spend as much time on the ship as possible and are trying to get the earliest port arrival time. The earliest port arrival times depend on the port you are sailing out of. Some ports have guests arrive later than others. Concierge guests get allocated the earliest possible boarding time, so they will be the first to board. If you are sailing in a concierge stateroom, you will have a Group 1 boarding number. Cruise contract. Read and agree to the cruise contract and print or email the contract. You will be given a boarding pass with a QR code when complete. You'll also need it throughout different stages of the boarding process. It is a good idea to have a printed copy if you encounter any technological problems. The QR code will be used to board the ship because you have not yet received your key to the world cards. Your key to the world cards will await you at your cabin inserted in the fish hook next to your stateroom door. When you have successfully completed the online check-in process, you'll see a message in the screenshot below that says you're all set to sail. You'll now be able to view your port arrival form, which will display your port arrival time and date, the ship you're sailing on, your boarding group number, your assembly station for the muster drill, once on board the ship, along with other important details about your cruise such as your stateroom number and castaway club level. You'll also be asked if you'd like to add the port arrival form to your Apple wallet if you're using an Apple iPhone, which will be very handy once you've arrived at the port. An important note is that while it says you're set to sail, your online check-in may still show as pending review. This is because a Disney Cruise Line cast member has to check the photos you submitted and it's a long process. It could potentially say pending review until you sail. As long as you bring all the documents with you that you uploaded, you should be golden when you arrive at the port to embark on your Disney cruise. Remember, you must keep all these documents in a carry-on bag with you at all times during embarkation. Good luck and magical sailings to you. And that's our Disney Cruise Line tip for this week. Now it's over to you, John. Thank you for that, Maria. It's been so exciting to see you all cruise on the wonder over the past few weeks. And we'll also be boarding on the 28th of December, so you won't want to miss our vlogs over on Jam Life Adventures and News Cars right here on Disney News Jam. We're so excited for it. Just revealed Disneyland announced the return of even more fan favorite entertainment offerings in 2024. So very excited for this one. Magic Happens Parade returns February 2nd. As part of the Disney 100 celebration at Disneyland Resort, celebrate the return of the unforgettable spectacular that reminds us you don't need wings to fly. Shooting stars are for wishes and magic doesn't end at midnight. With a wave of his wand, Mickey Mouse leads a cavalcade of fabulous floats. Whimsical costume performers and popular Disney pals around the park and into your hearts. While moving to a high energy contemporary musical score that puts a spin on classic Disney hits. In addition, a stirring song co-produced by singer-songwriter Todrick Hall. Bring some of your favorite Disney tales to life like never before. Watch Moana ride the crest of a beautiful wave in her voice. Voyager Canoe, followed by Coco's guitar strumming Miguel, joined by his dog Dante and other fantastical spirit animals, and behold the enchanted forest of Frozen 2 as Anna, Elsa, Olaf, Kristoff, and Sven pass by. The parade's grand final commemorates memorable moments from Disney classics in an incredible possession that's not to be missed. Mickey's Mix Magic performs January 8th through March 21 and April 15th to 25. Rock your world at Mickey's Mix Magic, an extravaganza bursting with magical song tracks, kaleidoscope projections, and exciting lights and lasers guaranteed to electrify your soul. The scene is set as state-of-the-art projections, lighting, and lasers turn Main Street USA, Sleeping Beauty Castle, and the facade of It's a Small World into dazzling displays of sight, sound, and color. And on select nights, fantastical fireworks woo at a pinch of more pixie dust to the occasion. Attendees will be catapulted into a fun, family-friendly dance party sure to transform Disneyland Park into one of the greatest celebrations for Mickey and Minnie. Wondrous Journeys returns for a special presentation March 22nd to April 14. Gaze in wonder as Sleeping Beauty Castle and Main Street USA be become a marvelous canvas of storytelling. Thrill as talented artists transform empty 
50 pages brimming with possibility into beloved Disney characters and vivid animated worlds awash with magic. All of this and more is brought to life by soaring music, stunning state-of-the-art projection technology, and on select nights, sensational pyrotechnics. And that's it for today's show. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, and hit the like button. This is our last show for 2023, as we'll be on the wonder next week. But stand by for a huge 2024 with cruise line vlogs and newscasts from the wonder in early January. Until then, have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And it's not goodbye, but we'll see you real soon.